Hello and welcome to another episode of Inside the Boardroom. I'm your host, Mel Schaefer. Today, I have the pleasure of chatting with Dean Hanish, the CEO of Focus Graphite. Focus Graphite is an advanced materials company developing high purity graphite solutions anchored by its flagship Lack Knife Flake Graphite Deposit. It's one of the highest grade graphite resources in the world. The company is focused on critical mineral supply for EV batteries, defense, and high-tech manufacturing, and it's poised to become a key player in North America's graphite market. It's great to have you here to speak with me again. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. What makes Focus Graphite's battery and node technology different, and why is it a breakthrough? So it's a breakthrough because there tends to be some problems using silicon. So we have developed something called the Silicon Enhanced Spheritization Technology for the anode. Generally, what happens is you make spheres, and those graphite spheres then get wrapped with silicon. So kind of like a snowball, and you wrap it in, say, dirt, and the dirt being the silicon. It then gets placed inside the anode. Problem with that is that it ends up expanding the silicon, and you get this volume expansion, which affects the integrity of the actual battery anode itself. And it also has contact with electrolytes, and that causes a degradation. So silicon is used because it's about seven to eight times more battery storage than graphite. So this helps with the battery itself as far as the longevity, the storage capacity, and what have you. The reason the technology is not being commercialized today is because of those two major issues. And what we've been able to do with our technology is solve those. So the difference is, instead of wrapping it in silicon after the fact, what we do is, as the spheroidization process is going, and you have these balls being created, the particles increase and we add the silicon in at the same time. So we get a very homogeneous mixture. You also have uh, a silicon packed with graphite around it, then silicon, then graphite. So it's a layered effect. So that way, when you're finished and we coat it with a carbon at the very end, you have this spiritized graphite that can go in the anode and the silicone is packed inside of it. So the silicone doesn't have anywhere to go. You don't have the volume or swelling that you normally get. You don't have any direct contact with the electrolytes for any degradation. And on top of it, because of those little packs of graphite that are going around on the layer, you can stuff more silicon in. So it's really uh, an important breakthrough and it works for any type of graphite. So it's not just our specific graphite, it works for synthetic, it works for any other type of natural flake graphite. So this is actually more exciting for us than and just about anything that we've done, even for the deposit itself. So we're lucky to test this now in a commercial environment with C4B, um, which is going to allow us to see how it works in a, in a large-scale, complex battery uh, environment. So we're pretty excited about it because the proof is in the third-party validation test. Why is it important to validate your standard uh, technology, and what does this mean for commercial adoption? So for us, it was important as well to test the regular uh, spheritized graphite that people are using. Uh, our materials comes from Lac Knife, and we're at that point now, you know, a year, year and a half away from permitting. We need to start to do these type of third-party validation testing in large complex battery environments, as that's one of the areas we're going after, as well as uh, the defense and military applications. So for us, it's important uh, to put that into, you know, as I said, a battery technology company where everything's working together to run it through small, medium, and large batteries uh, and do the full life cycles uh, to that end. So we're very excited for that. So can you take a minute to explain what the C4V digital platform is and what it means for Focus Graphite to be included in the global ranking? Yeah, so again, for us, I think uh, we wanted to have both of the technology piece as well as the standard spheritized graphite. We wanted to have it in C4V's testing uh, validation area and part of the program I think that's important is that they're looking at really using this as a supply chain and a data analysis portal so that any material that's tested will then go into the portal and you can see how it performs. So this will be used by the Gigabyte factories, uh, different OEMs, battery anode manufacturers. So that gives us a chance to then let them see that our material has been tested and they'll understand how it performs and hopefully will give us uh, some off-takes and we'll be on the supply arrangement as a preferred supplier. And just lastly, if you can just tell me a little bit about what sets Focus Graphite apart from other graphite suppliers and also what can investors be looking forward to in the next little while or even a little down, bit down the road? 
Yeah, so one of the things I think is important is that graphite is not graphite. So there are no two graphite deposits the same. Some are useful for, you know, basic batteries um, and, and, you know, technology. Some things are used for more of the lubricants and things of that nature. And for us, we're very fortunate for the lac knife material specifically, which is near permit, our material has the impurities on the outside. So we're able to like burn them off pretty quickly. So it's like a green anode processing, but we keep the integrity of the flake, which allows us to do a lot of these high-end military applications, uh, ice phobic applications, radar suppression, and things of that nature. So that's one of the differences for us. And you hear a lot about China dumping materials and graphite, but you, they're not dumping that material. And you need to have a specific type of deposit. We just happen to be fortunate enough to have that. So for our perspective, I think you'll see us do a lot more with uh, applications, taking our material, our advanced materials, taking those materials and partnering with a lot of uh, military and defense contractors and companies showing and testing our material, how it works to better performance uh, some of their different products. As well, because of our silicon enhanced uh, graphite technology, we're also going to be looking at the silicon side of things. So we're working at partnering with other technology companies who found either greener or cheaper ways to create and produce silicon. And we're looking to partner with them and test it with our, with our material. So our technology is very broad. Uh, it doesn't have to be silicon. We're able to put any type of uh, metal and nanoparticles into the spheres. So that's one of the things we're also looking to explore to see what other companies' technologies are out there that may want to have this type of technology where it keeps everything contained. So you'll see that. We also have Tetapisca, which is another project of ours. It's, we're going to be do, doing a mineral resource estimate um, that we're upgrading, which is going to make it one of the largest graphite uh, stories in North America. It's another high-grade, high-purity graphite deposit. So that'll be another thing that well, I think the investors can see that we'll be coming out with. And of course, we're just going to continue down the permit phase. So 16 years and hopefully one year left and, and we'll get a permit. So that's that's about it in a exciting. nutshell. So yeah, we have yeah. a pretty big year ahead of us. That's awesome. Well, um, it sounds like there's so much for investors to look forward to in terms of news flow. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. It's well, thank been, you. It's been great. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.